Hey guys, welcome back to Get Good, a series where I analyze my gameplay to see what I did right, what I did wrong, and how I could have played better. Today, we'll be taking an in-depth look at my crosshair placement. Having good crosshair placement is an easy way to increase your accuracy because it'll take fewer and smaller movements to line up your shot, so you'll spend less time correcting your aim. In other words, you'll create easier shots for yourself and your success in-game will be less dependent on your aim and reaction time. We'll be going through both good and bad examples of my gameplay, so let's dive right into it. In our first clip, we dropped at Train Yard with a couple other squads. Because I know there are enemies nearby, I should be on high alert and ready to fight at any given time. This means I should be ready to shoot wherever people are most likely to appear. For example, when I enter this train cart, I'm looking too low. No matter where someone pops up, I'd have to flick a fairly large distance to shoot at them. By staring at the ground, all I'm doing is giving other people more time to shoot at me first. I hear a Pathfinder dueling a lifeline, so I rotate over to help. Since I'm using a Mozambique, I want to move closer so I'm fighting within my effective range. As I'm rotating, I should be thinking about where I last saw the lifeline, what direction she was moving, and where she would most likely appear next. Since she was last seen backing away and moving to my left, she's probably going to come around this corner. Unfortunately, I'm staring at a wall, splitting the difference between the corner and this window. I should have been aiming where she's logically most likely to be. Now, no matter where she shows up, I have to make a big correction to my aim and hope that I'm fast and accurate enough to hit her. Unfortunately, I didn't flick far enough and missed out on easy damage. I hit one follow-up shot for 40 damage before I have to disengage so I don't get knocked. Combined with the 32 damage I did earlier, this lifeline is sitting around 28 health and now my Pathfinder needs to come help finish her. By not having good crosshair placement, I ended up being more reliant on my raw aim than necessary. If I was aiming at the corner, I likely would have hit my first shot and my follow-up shots, which means I would have taken less damage and wouldn't have needed my Pathfinder's help. Our Wraith calls out that there's a Bangalore in this area, so I immediately start looking for her. What I want to ask myself though is, why am I aiming down sights when I don't have any idea where she is? All this does is block my already limited view and gives me a 65% movement penalty since I'm using the G7 Scout. My crosshair is also placed on the roof, aiming at nothing. At the very least, I should have snapped to where I was scanning if I insisted on ADSing. I spot the Bangalore, get a couple shots on her, and now I'm one hit. Here, I should have played safe and waited for my team to challenge her together instead of trying to angle hold by myself and allowing her to fight us one by one. I'm aiming low here while holding this angle because the G7 iron sights suck, so the intent is to flick up as soon as I see the target. I could have aimed a little higher though, since I'm aiming where her feet would be. This makes it so I don't flick up high enough once I spot her and shoot right between her legs for zero damage. Unlucky. Let's fast forward a little bit. Here, I start getting shot at by another squad. I move to cover, pre-aim at where the shots came from, and then slowly open up the angle till I see the target. I shouldn't have backed off here. I'm not under any pressure and I had four more shots left. I might have been able to land one more hit before Wraith's tactical kicked in. I hear someone above me and because of my low health and positional disadvantage, I enter full panic mode. I go to double check that my sight is set to 2x instead of 4x, which is fine. What is this terrible crosshair placement? Because I'm looking at the beautiful greenery on the wall, I completely miss this pathfinder coming around the corner and get caught off guard when he starts shooting at me. I should have checked my zoom level while looking somewhere useful. I somehow managed to survive and I finish him off to get an armor swap since I have no heals. That one's out for the count. I want to pause for a second here to talk about looting. It's not related to crosshair placement, but it's still important. I've noticed that's an area of my gameplay that can be improved and here's a pretty good example of where I could have looted better. I literally just checked my inventory, so I should know what I'm missing and what I need. I'm one hit and I'm standing out in the open. The first thing I should have grabbed was the shield for an instant 25 extra health. Instead, I hover over the helmet for a split second and then grab the backpack first because I'm a greedy little loot goblin. That's an extra layer of inefficiency that I just added because I need the helmet too. As I'm looting, the desperately needed heals pop up, but I'm so caught up in the moment that I don't see them and I walk away from the box that gets a cover. So the fight with this Pathfinder has pointed out three things to me. One, I need to maintain better composure under high stress situations. I'm panicking for no reason. 
Two, my loot priority is bad. I need to go after the items that have the most direct impact on my game first. And three, I need to work on having a mental checklist of what I need. There shouldn't have been any hesitation on what to grab since I literally just looked at my inventory prior to looting. If I can get these things down, I'll be able to loot much quicker. Our Pathfinder gets knocked, so I turn around to help our Wraith who's closer and is actively fighting. Once again, my crosshair is pointed at the ground. You can see that once I fully aim down sights, I'm looking at Crypto's feet. It's becoming incredibly obvious why I don't hit as many headshots as I want to. It's because I'm usually aiming too low. So now not only do I have to focus on tracking Crypto as he runs across my screen, I have to correct my aim as well. I'm making the game harder for myself for no reason. That was a waste of an arc star. I should have gone inside the cart first and then thrown it out the door to zone out the wraith in case she tries to push me while I'm reviving. I'm finishing the crypto here so that hopefully I can get another armor swap and maybe find some heals. Once again, I'm angle holding while I'm low on health. If I get knocked, I'm letting this wraith challenge us one by one, creating a fair fight for her. Since our wraith is healing at the moment, I should have played it safe and stayed hidden. Or at the very least, I could have held tighter angles so that I'm not wide peeking as much, and I could have changed up where I was peeking from so she can't pre-aim at me so easily. We push her, and she uses her tactical to get away. This is when I should have turned around and armor swapped off the crypto's box. We eventually catch her and finish her, but hopefully you can see how these little mistakes compound and make the game much more aim and reaction dependent than it needs to be. In the next couple of clips, you'll see how much of an effect good crosshair placement will have on my gameplay. The clips go by quick, so I'm going to let them play through first and then rewind to break them down. To start, our Bloodhound gets caught off guard and gets knocked, so I'm instantly in a 1v2 fight. Since I have some idea of where the enemies are, I position myself behind the supply bin for cover, pre-aim at the corner, and slowly open up the angle, trying to expose myself to just one target at a time. Because of the decent crosshair placement, I only have to make a small aim adjustment once I identify where the target is. And because I didn't move too far away from cover, I can immediately close the angle back up and put myself behind the bin when the second teammate shows up. This ends up saving me and becomes the reason why I win this 1v2. Look at how much of the Mastiff shot this bin blocks for me. At this point, I know the Revenant is low. I wait a second behind cover to let him burn through some ammo and question where I am before placing my crosshair on the corner and start pre-firing as I walk out. This allows me to hit him as soon as he comes into my line of sight. No aim skill or reaction time required. Let's fast forward again to when we run into another squad. I am taking fire, friends. I shot down. Hostile. I need shields. Marking our surroundings. We get a quick knock, and since this is duos, I want to push our advantage aggressively. As I move forward, I clear any new angles that I'm exposed to and snap my crosshair to where I think their bloodhound might be. By the lifeline, by the pillar they were last spotted, by the forklift that could be used for cover, and finally against the fence. Because this is a close range fight and I'm using a Havoc that requires wind up time, I start pre-firing before I'm fully on target, knowing that I don't have to correct my aim very much once I ADS since my crosshairs are pretty much in the right place. This leads to the Bloodhound getting knocked before getting a chance to react. One thing I could have done better though was to stay on top of this fence instead of jumping over to the other side. 
I would have had less motion to deal with, and it would have let me disengage faster if things went wrong. This is another example of how combining good crosshair placement with pre-firing can make short work of your enemies. Our bloodhound scans the last member of a squad we just fought. Since I know the direction they're heading, I immediately get to cover, pre-aim at the target, and start firing as I move out before I even see them. Since my crosshairs are already in the right spot, I only have to make minor corrections left and right to account for us strafing. I take full advantage of the cover near me, positioning myself so that only a small amount of me is exposed. This makes me hard to hit and allows me to break line of sight quickly once I recognize their aim is locked in. So far, I've traded 84 damage for 25 to myself. Not bad. When I go to re-peek, I snap my crosshairs to where I think they are first before stepping out. As I come out of this corner, my initial instinct is to look left to where I last saw the enemy bloodhound, when instead I should have been more concerned with what's in front of me. My bloodhound is already covering my left, so I know I'm safe in that direction for the most part. The enemy might have rotated around, as we know they did, so I should be clearing a different angle from my teammate, not looking the same direction as them. Luckily, I reacted fast enough and created enough of a health advantage earlier for this to be no contest. Anyway, that about wraps it up for this video. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time.